Hi, this is Jared Walton from Anontech. I'm sitting here testing out a High Point Rocket Store USB 3.0 controller, and I've tested this on numerous systems. And for whatever reason, there seems to be a problem with USB 3.0 disconnects on Windows 7 and Windows 8. Actually, I've noticed this a lot on laptops, but this is, this particular one is a desktop. There are eight USB 3.0 ports on this particular desktop and of those eight it appears that only one set offers maximum performance. Anyway I've got the rocket store hooked up here and we'll just see if I can capture this crash in progress. So I'm gonna start both of these so you can see we're reading and writing to the USB ports and usually it happens around the 16k block size I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the numbers right but right now we're transferring at 200 megabytes per second read speeds oddly enough tend to be slower at the lower block sizes transfer sizes we've now breached 300 megabytes per second and 400 almost got to 500 there oh there's 500 and 600 on the reads, actually on the writes. And now it looks like this one has crashed. You can see the little spinning circle there. Transfer speeds are now single drive performance. And excellent, that was my first try. So I'm running ATTO disk benchmark simultaneously on both USB 3.0 ports for the Rocket Store. And I've had disconnect problems with other controllers or other USB 3.0 devices um, with solid state drives hooked up, even where it's only just a single drive. But this is a particularly egregious problem when we're running dual drives dual SSDs and start pushing four, five, six hundred megabytes per second. So I've witnessed this on an MSI GX60 laptop that's got an AMD per APU in there so it's not just an Intel chipset issue. I've tried it on a couple of no of Ultrabooks, the uh, Acer M5 and an Asus uh, UX 51VZ and also on a Dell XPS 12 those all had problems and what else I tried it on an, an Asus N56V and another Acer S7 I will say that the problems do occur more frequently on Windows 8 I believe that might be related to the higher performance offered by the UASP USB drivers. Anyway, I'm going to post this online just so I can show some people and see if they've got any comments. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Jared Walton from Anontech.